let's make a video about the urinary system. And the urinary system that we're covering is on this list here with kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, and urethra. Okay, so we want to remember with the fetal pig, particularly that the bladder, as you may have seen in lab, extends superiorly towards the umbilicus. So that's just a marker. Here's the umbilicus outside of the body. And two things that are going to the urinary bladder that might help you when you're trying to identify this on a pig are the umbilical arteries. So I'm just going to put those in here and not put their origin at the aorta, but just to have them here to help us. So this is the right umbilical artery, and here's the left umbilical artery. All right, and of course, this is going to be the urinary structure or the fetal pig. All right, so as we come out of the bladder, the bladder is easy to recognize. So I drew that first. Remember that retroperitoneally are kidneys. The kidneys have been dissected out uh, at least on the left side of the pig so that you can see the kidney. And some of the kidneys have been left in the retroperitoneum on the right. It's just kind of interesting to see that. So here's the left kidney. This is our left kidney. And as the uh, ureter, or the, the pelvis of the kidney, uh, exits through the hilum, this is the hilum here, and then exits into this tube, this tube is called the uh, ureter. You'll see the structure of the kidney a little bit more in lecture. But for today, uh, all we're covering on the pig is the kidney, the ureter, the bladder, and now we need to exit. So let's look at the path of urine. Urine collects uh, from the body in the kidney. It's filtered into the kidney. It goes down the ureter and up into the bladder where it's stored. But don't forget that we have two kidneys. So I'll just draw a ghost kidney over here so that you're not thinking that pigs only have a left kidney, right? So we have a, a right kidney as well as a right ureter. Okay. Those two enter the bladder and then drain through the urethra. So the urethra is either in females, this short uh, short tube here, this would be a female, in a male, and then it would exit out the urethral orifice. In a male, however, the urethra continues up through the penis. So the urethra is contained inside the penis as the penile urethra. inside the penis of the fetal pig. The penis in the fetal pig, uh, as it is in many quadrupeds, is, is attached to the front of the abdomen. It does not hang freely as it does in uh, bipeds or some other animals. So you can see that in a dog and a cat in the fetal pig, the penis will be underneath the tissue, just under the umbilical uh, or where we would see the belly button in layman's terms. So underneath the tissue of the abdomen, you'll see the penis exit. It'll look more like this. And this would be the exit or the urethral orifice. Uh, and in females, of course, the urethral orifice is just going to be here. 
right? So males have a much longer journey for urine. And this is, so here what we've got on our list is the kidney, ureter, uh, urinary bladder, and urethra. And I've included just a little bit of the male reproductive anatomy with this. Kidney, ureter, kidney, ureter, bladder, urinary bladder. And we call it urinary bladder because of the gallbladder uh, as also another organ. So we want to distinguish between the two by calling this one specifically the urinary bladder. Both male and female exit through the urethra. Of course, in female, their urethra is very short. And in males, the urethra is longer as it extends through the uh, penile tissue. <clears throat> 